what's up you guys welcome back to another video in this video i will be continuing a series of flower girls in this video i am focusing on the flower hydrangeas or hydrangea um for this illustration i was inspired by this flower and the character sort of reflects the vibe of this flower also in her outfit and her hair and as I said before in my previous video of this collection, I am practicing rendering different nationalities and hair textures. So for this illustration, I am rendering a more Hispanic looking character. Though I don't think the hydrangea comes from any Hispanic countries, I did find that the shapes inside the flower were reminiscent of the hair texture that I wanted for this character so the waves and curls and flips of the petals kind of resemble the waves of the girl's hair so I hope you guys enjoy this video and keep watching Since this is a bit of a longer video, I guess I'll go in and speak on the things that I am working on in this illustration. So after the watercolor process, I go back in with colored pencil due to definition of the features. My favorite part about working with colored pencils after I do watercolor illustrations is the face. I really get to go in and sort of be a makeup artist and really define the features and make the colors of the watercolor go along with the colors of the color pencil. So basically I'm just adding in some final details to really define and bring the picture to life. So blending on top of watercolor paper is a bit tricky at times. I have to layer a bit. Um, but the definition of all the fabric and flower petals, um, it's all pretty much worth it to go back over with color pencil. In the end, after all of the extra work is done, um, beyond the watercolor process, I feel like the character looks completely different and closer to the sketch than after wa watercoloring because I feel like the watercolor sort of mutes out the initial sketch and basically is a base to what you want to do on top of it. So while you can do the whole illustration with simply watercolors, I like to always go back in with a different medium on top of it to really push out the features that I want to emphasize.
most difficult medium that I worked with in this illustration was my white Sakura Jelly Roll pen. I didn't get it to flow as smoothly as I have in my previous illustrations, so I had to revert to using gouache or a white gouache, which is beneficial because I did want to learn how to use gouache, but I feel that I really like using gel pens. But if anyone has any tips or tricks to get jelly roll pens to work better or more smoothly, please leave them in the comments down below if you have any art experience. Well you guys, this is nearing the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this series and I will see you guys in my next one. Be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. Also subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to share my channel with other people that you think may like it and be sure to check out some of my previous content and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!